So welcome to a short video of Robo CNC. I was starting to do the CNC plasma build, but I need to do some aluminum work and it needs to be done on the Robo CNC router. So an MDF spoil board is not gonna cut it. So using a small jig, I can drill four square holes to shift the last item profile inwards, about 25 centimeters. This shift is needed because I need to flatten the profiles to place the new spoil board on top of them. And the router cannot travel all the way back there. For flattening the profiles, the Z height, I could of course just use the router and flatten the profiles themselves. But I chose to use some 3mm thick PVC, make some slabs and throw them onto the profiles with some double sided sticky tape. So after flattening the PVC slabs, it's time to drill some holes into the profiles with a known location and a way too high RPM. So cover your ears. So after drilling the holes, it's time to tap the holes with an M8 thread. And this is used to mount the new spoil board on top of these PVC slabs. The PVC is flattened, the mounting holes are drilled, it's time for the spoil board. I chose a 25mm thick HDPE, high density polyethylene spoil board. And time to drill some mounting holes in the same known locations. The spoil board is now drilled with a 100mm square pattern of 7mm uh, holes or 6.8mm holes so I can tap them with M8. This is later used to mount all the CNC stuff that I want to machine later on. I tend to don't trust the thickness of uh, material that is delivered so in this case I will again flatten the material before working on it. 
it's gonna be a spoil board so eventually I will scratch this surface and have a lot of patterns in there and when it starts to irritate me I can flatten it again and so do so until I hit the mounting bolts Short little project, short little video, not a lot of editing. Sorry to have such shitty content, but uh, hope you like it anyway. Hope to see you in the next video starting the plasma build. And until that time, make sure to subscribe.